Hello, in this video I'm gonna show you the productivity tricks on the Honor X6B. Okay, so let's begin. First thing we wanna do is go into the settings and into accessibility features. As you can see, we have a bunch of options over here, starting with the one-handed mode, screen recording, multi-window, and the favorite space. So I'll show you an example of the one-handed mode first. So simply enable it, and to get into this mode, simply swipe your finger over here, hold down a little bit, and now we are in the one-handed mode, which is, in my opinion, more comfortable, of course, to use with the one hand. We still can do everything, only using our one hand, and to get out this air, get out this mode, simply click on this black bar, and that's how you quit this mode. Okay, next thing is the screen recording. To record the screen, simply hold the power button and the volume up button at the same time. As you can see, the screen is recording right now, but without the sound, to enable it, simply click on this microphone icon and to stop the recording, simply click. As you can see, it has been saved in our gallery, so you can get there and see it. I will show you. Type in gallery, click on agree. And our screen recording has been saved. Okay, back into the options, accessibility, and now the multi-window. Simply enable it, and I'll show you how this works. Okay, so let's say we want to use the notes and the calculator at the same time, because you want to take the notes right now and count at the same time. So, to do this, simply first get into the notes, we can create a new one. Let's click the type note. And now how to enter the multi-window node. So now hold your finger on the edge of the screen and simply swipe. Okay, it doesn't work now because the keyboard showed up. But now Still doesn't work, I don't know why. Okay, let's go back into the options again. I don't know why it doesn't work. Multi window again. Okay, maybe now. Okay, now. Now it works. Okay. So back into the notes. Hold your finger on the edge of the screen. Okay, and now release. Okay, now it works. As you can see, we have a bunch of apps over here, starting from notes, files, favorites, email, gallery files, calculator, and also if you click on more, you can pick more apps in this window. Okay, so let's enter the notes. Sometimes it doesn't work, I don't know why. Okay, now. Now let's go into the calculator. And now to get into multi windowed mode, we now have the calculator on the small window. But as you can see, the notes are on the full screen. So let's say we want to split the screen in half. So the both windows will take exactly the same space. To do this, simply drag the calculator, swipe down, and now release. And now we have the calculator on the bottom and the app and the notes above. So let's create a new note. I'll show that this works. So as you, as you can see, I can still type, get rid of the keyboard, and I can now count something, anything I want on the calculator. 
it's more comfortable than switching between the apps. And a lot faster, in my opinion. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. And the last thing is the AI option to get into the assistant. Simply drag your finger right on the corner, release your finger. And now, as you can see, we have the assistant. For example, we can ask, ask him some things, basically anything we want, instead of typing it in the browser. For example, let's say we want to know in which year the French Revolution has started. I'm giving you an example. So you can type it on your keyboard, but you can also use your voice. So I'll now ask the question. In which year the French Re Revolution has started? The French Revolution started in 1789. And as you can see, we have our answer now. Also, for example, I'll show you another type of the comment. What is the weather right now in the New York? United States, it's four and sunny. Today, there'll be snow showers. As you can see, and a low of four. as you can see, we have our answer. We don't need to type this in the Google. By ourselves, we can simply ask the AI. So the last thing I'm gonna show you is the battery. Battery options to improve its lifespan. Simply click on the battery. And as you can see, we have options such as performance mode, power saving mode, and ultra power saving mode. So we can pick between them to improve your battery. And also if you go to the more battery settings, you can enable the smart charge, smart battery capacity, and stay connected while asleep. As you can see, smart charge provides the battery's health. Your device will learn from your charging routine and delay fully charging past 80% until you need to use it. And other smart battery capacity when enabled, the battery will finish charging just short of its actual peak capacity. This will reduce how long single charges last, but extend the battery lifespan, so it's good to enable it. And stay connected while asleep. Keep your internet connection active after the screen turns off. Okay, so that's the basically the productivity tricks. If you find this video helpful, please leave a like, comment and subscribe.